Thank you very much, uh, Lars Kerlock. And before I discuss the issue, I'd like to raise, uh, with your permission, Lars Kerlock, I'd like to move an amendment to the order of business today to propose that item number 14 be taken before item number one. Uh, leader, uh, moving on to the issue that I would like to discuss. Yesterday, in my hometown of Dundalk, I met with uh, Mandy Kelly. Uh, Mandy will be aware to a lot of us here. It's an issue that, uh, and before I start, uh, Lars Kerlock, I am conscientious that I'm going to make sure that I uh, temper my remarks uh, with due process, and I, and I am uh, I am very uh, key to aware that this is a very complex issue. Um, so I just want to phrase that before I bring it up. But um, Mandy is someone that we will all be aware of through the media, uh, and that's because her two children, who are Irish citizens, Zayn and Kareem, um, have been in Egypt since 2022. They went there on a family holiday with their mother, Mandy, um, and there is now a fairly substantial, and again, I temper my language here, a fairly substantial custody battle, for want of a better word, between these two Irish citizens who are now five and three uh, in Egypt. Um, the Department of Foreign Affairs, the Department for Justice, very well aware of it. Uh, the Taunashta Minister for Foreign Affairs, uh, Michal Martin, has met with Mandy before Christmas, and the counsellor assistance that was provided to Mandy in Egypt when this occurred was very, very helpful and made an extraordinarily difficult situation that much harder. Mandy has actually gotten uh, an injunction in the High Court, a High Court ruling, to say that her two children, two Irish citizens, should be returned to her as soon as possible. However, the, uh, the advice at this point is for Mandy to enter the Egyptian court system to have her two sons, two Irish citizens, return to Ireland. That is just not a feasible uh, legal pathway. And I would really appreciate a debate about, uh, leader, about how countries who are outside the European Union uh, can be, uh, have a, have a, uh, sorry, apologies, about how countries who are outside of the European, how we can include and foster stronger diplomatic relations where you have instances of children staying in a country of which they have no belonging, of which they had no connection, of which they were taken to on a family holiday with return flights booked, and where, uh, and I won't, I won't get into the details of the terminology because I'm conscientious of the words that I use in this house today, but to be very blunt about it, these are two Irish children who are two Irish citizens that have no connection to Egypt, that were born in Ireland, had went to school in Ireland, have now been in Egypt since 2022. Their mother has had no contact whatsoever. And I would really implore the Irish government to continue doing, and especially Michael Martin, the important work that they are doing diplomatically and behind the scenes, and to really try and put as much pressure as possible on the Egyptian government to get these two Irish citizens home as soon as possible.